For today's video, I'm going to show you all the rewards you get after logging in 300 days. And towards the end, I'm going to show my entire inventory, all of my weapons, my heroes, my traps, my defenders, and my survivors. But before we show the 300 day reward, I do want to show the rewards that I've gotten from the past few weeks. Here's all the rewards that we got between days 246 and day 252. On day 252, we got 300 V-Bucks. Here's the rewards we got between days 253 and days 259. On day 259, we got 150 V-Bucks. And I sort of missed the rewards between days 260 and 266. But as you can see here, on day 266, you get 150 V-Bucks. Here are the rewards between days 267 and 273. And on day 273, we got 150 more V-Bucks. Here's what we got between days 274 and 280. And on day 280, we got 300 V-Bucks. And here's what we got between days 281 and 287. And on day 287, we got 150 V-Bucks. And this is what we got last week between days 288 and 294. And on day 294, we got 150 V-Bucks. And here are the rewards that we got between days 295 and days 301. As you can see on day 300, we're going to get some lightning in a bottle. And on day 301, we're going to get 150 V-Bucks. And towards the right, you can see on day 308, we're going to get 300 V-Bucks. So yeah, those are the rewards you're going to get after logging in for 300 days. Now I'm going to go ahead and scroll through my entire inventory. And we actually have a bunch of stuff, so I'm not going to waste a whole lot of time on any of these because we have a lot to scroll through. But if you have any questions in regards to any of these weapons, just let me know in the comments below. But yeah, if I were to talk about each of these individually, this video would be well over an hour long. So I'm just going to be scrolling over each of these. Another thing I should point out is that you'll notice a lot of these traps and weapons haven't been converted yet. By the time we did this video, the perk recombobulator just came out and I've only had a chance to convert maybe 10 or so weapons. And I think we did convert most of the traps. And here's the Grave Digger. This is the only weapon where we've completely upgraded all of the perks. If you guys would like to see gameplay of it with all the perks upgraded, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, I think we're going to try to go through and convert most of our weapons, or at least the ones that we use, within the next week or so, hopefully. Uh, if there's any weapons here that I haven't uploaded gameplay of yet, and you want to see gameplay of it, let me know. I think we've gotten gameplay with most of these, but... There are a few that we haven't gotten gameplay with yet. Alright, so let's see. We got the snowball launcher from the Christmas event. We also got wooden floor spikes, which I did convert. As well as retractable floor spikes, which I increased the rarity of this week. We also got dragon's tooth. And here are my floor launchers, which I really need to evolve and upgrade. We got the frost spike, which came with the winter event. Jack a launcher from the Halloween event. Vendor tech blaster. Hydra. We also got the Trash Cannon, which came from the Horde Bash event. The Krypton Sword, which I never finished upgrading. We also got the Nailer, as well as the Argon Axe. And everything from this point on hasn't been upgraded at all. And you'll notice some of these are traps that we do already have leveled up. But I was thinking about leveling up some traps to 4 stars, and then leveling up another set of traps to 5 stars. Because it seems like unless you're farming level 100 missions all day every day, you're not really going to get that many five star materials. So I was thinking I'll have two different sets of traps, one at four stars and one at five stars. And that's why you see these traps that haven't been leveled up. But yeah, the main reason I wanted to level up some traps to five stars is because I wanted to use them for my Twine Peak Storm Shield defense. So as soon as I get a chance to, I'll try to farm some schematic XP and level them up. Obviously, it's going to take a while because it seems like most of the time we spend most of our schematic XP on new weapons because I know you all like to see gameplay of the new weapons as soon as they come out. So it is sort of hard to level up new weapons and level up old weapons and old traps at the same time. And we're coming close to the end of my favorite weapons. I do have some other legendaries that I didn't favorite. I'm not sure why I didn't. It was either because of their perks or they're new and I haven't had a chance to favorite it yet. Like this Death Stalker looks like a pretty decent roll. So I think we'll go ahead and favorite that. Make sure I don't lose it. But yeah, let's see what else we got. We got a Deathwing, a Dragon's Claw, which hasn't been converted yet. 
Uh, we also got some more traps. I think I may use some of these for transformations because we still have a lot of schematics that we need to transform. As for this ground pounder, this is one of the military weapons I haven't uploaded gameplay of yet. If y'all would like to see gameplay of it, let me know in the comments below. And we got this Fortsville Slugger from the weekly section in the event store this week. See, we also got the Dragon's Might. We got a couple of bandits, as well as the Founder's Revolt. As you can see, we haven't leveled it up yet, though. And everything else from here on out, I think I'm going to end up using for transformations. We may upgrade the rarity of that Whisper 45. But yeah, that sums up everything in regards to my weapons and my traps. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and scroll through each of my heroes. We got Raven, Wukong, Rabbit Raider Jonesy, Beetle Jess. We also got the Lamorai, Ted Shot Jess, Bulletstorm Jonesy, Harvester Sarah, Flash Eagle Eye, which is one of the heroes we haven't gotten gameplay of yet. See, we also got Skull Trooper Jonesy, Face Scout Jess, and these are the only mythics that I have. Raven, Wukong, and Face Scout Jess. Haven't really been lucky when it comes to getting mythic heroes. Uh, Gunblazer was from the Horrid Bash event. Snowstalker from the Christmas event. Miss Bunny Penny during Easter. We also got Fragment Flurry Jess, Hazard the 13th. Machinist Harper, Marine Corps Ramirez, Sarah Claus. You notice a lot of these heroes are heroes that came with certain events and the way I look at it is that if it's an event hero I'll keep it and if it's a hero you can get like any time no matter what the event is uh, sometimes I'll get rid of those for XP if I need them but I never get rid of my event heroes and we probably got in gameplay with about half of these heroes Obviously, I don't have them all leveled up yet. As a matter of fact, all the heroes from this point forward are heroes I haven't upgraded at all. You see, there's the new double agent. I'm kind of hoping I get double agent Evelyn. I kind of like her skin a little bit better. Uh, we also got Rescue Trooper Ramirez, Recon Scout. We also got the Raider Raptor, which is the reward you get after you reach level 100 in the collection book. And I'll show you all my collection book as well. Uh, we got Highland Warrior, Wildcat, Heavy Base Kyle, Enforcer Grizzly, Electro Pulse Penny, Special Forces Banshee, Striker AC, Thunderstrike, which is a ninja we need to level up because he has a really good tactical squad bonus. And we also got Vanguard Outlander. And I'm just going to go ahead and quickly scroll through them real quick. We got Tank Penny, Sentinel Hype, another power base. Uh, I'll probably use some of these for transformations. But yeah, that sums up all of the heroes that I currently own. And I guess the next thing we'll look at are my defenders. And I don't really have that many defenders. The only ones I really plan on keeping are the legendary ones. And obviously these two purple ones that I can't get rid of even if I wanted to. But yeah, like I said, I don't really have that many defenders. And I guess the last thing we'll go over is the collection book. As you can see, we're currently level 119 in the collection book. Haven't really gotten a lot of Shadow Ops heroes, so that's why we don't have a lot of them in the collection book. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to quickly scroll through everything, show y'all what we got in there, and some of the things that we're currently missing. We still haven't gotten that Master Grenadier, which kind of sucks. And we also haven't gotten Mega Base either. Uh, let's see, here's the ninjas that I put in the collection book. We haven't gotten Sword Master either. So yeah, we sort of had bad luck when it comes to getting Mythic Heroes. But we did get Face Scout just though. I just haven't gotten a duplicate yet to put in the collection book. So uh, that sums up the Heroes tab. Here's all of the Defenders that I put in the collection book. Here's all of the Survivors. And you can tell we haven't put any Legendary Survivors in there yet. Here's the Lead Survivors. And here's Unique Leads. I've only gotten one duplicate when it comes to mythic leads. Here's all the wall traps, ceiling traps, and floor traps that I put in the collection book. Here's all of the assault rifles, and here's all of my shotguns. We still have a lot of slots that we need to fill. Uh, here's all the pistols that we still need to put in the collection book. Uh, we're only missing three snipers, so we're almost done with the snipers. Uh, here's the explosive weapons, the swords, the axes, the spears, the scythes tab, uh, we finished all the clubs, we're almost done with all the hardware melee weapons, 
and these scavenger items are rewards that we got from the horde bash event wasn't really able to put a whole lot in the collection book and here are some of the rewards that we got from the halloween event here are the vendor tech ranged weapons as well as vendor tech melee weapons we've also added some christmas heroes as well as vacuum tube weapons which were weapons that we got during the christmas event here's the survive the storm heroes as well as survive the storm weapons i didn't really get that many spring folk heroes matter of fact the only one that i got was the highland warrior here are the chinese new year heroes which i didn't really get that many of and here are the dragon weapons and the last one is the cyber set wasn't able to put that many cyberpunk heroes in the collection book. Uh, we were able to put all of the cyber ranged weapons. And here are the cyber melee weapons. So that's what my collection book looks like. And I did show my survivor squads in a video not too long ago. But I'll go ahead and quickly scroll through them as well. You'll notice that we've invested mainly in offense and tech up to this point. But yeah that about sums it up for everything that I've gotten after 300 days or almost 300 days. We'll be at 300 in about two or three days. Again, let me know if there's any weapons or heroes that you would like to see gameplay of. Anyways, that'll do it for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.